Let's talk about a few hot startup rounds. The General Intelligence Company raised an $8.7 million seed to build CoFounder, which is their bet on the infrastructure for the one person billion dollar company. Instead of a single AI assistant, they're building a full stack agent platform that can run functions like engineering, sales, support, and ops through specialized agents. Today, most AI agents are single purpose and stateless, which means they lack persistent memory or long-term context. Their platform focuses on the orchestration across multiple agents, persistent memory, and governance and permissions, defining which agents can do what, when, and where. The big idea is that natural language becomes the interface for starting and running a company. K2 Space raised a $250 million Series C at a $3 billion valuation to build large, high-power satellites at low cost. Historically, rockets have been small and expensive, meaning that satellite makers had to design tiny, fragile systems to match. However, with larger rockets and more frequent launches thanks to players like SpaceX, it now makes sense to deploy fewer but much more capable satellites satellites instead of thousands of small ones. K2 satellites generate significantly more power, enabling better communications, sensing, compute, and they can also operate across multiple orbits from low Earth orbit to much further out. Their first major satellite, Gravitas, is launching in March 2026, and they've already signed $500 million in contracts. Serval raised a $75 million Series B at a billion dollar valuation to take on ServiceNow. Today, if your laptop breaks or if you forget a password, you usually file an IT ticket and have to wait at least a few hours. Most platforms like ServiceNow are essentially just ticket trackers. Serval wants to handle those requests automatically using an AI agent that can chat with employees, understand what they need, and actually complete the task. Employees can type requests in plain English, just like they're talking to a coworker, while the system checks what it's allowed to do. Behind the scenes, admins can define which systems Serval can access versus what requires human approval, and then Serval writes that automation logic, executes it, and logs everything, which is why they're describing it as via coding for IT. They're at 500% revenue growth since August, and they currently automate about half of IT tickets, with plans to expand beyond IT into HR, legal, and finance. 